Hey kid, do you want to switch between scenes and OBS like a professional, but you don't have the money for a stream deck? Maybe you've got a one monitor set up in your stream setup, and that's okay, but you have to alt tab in and out of everything every time you want to switch scenes. What if I told you you can do it for free? Stream University starts now. <laughs> All right, right off the top, uh, business first. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday. My name is Luxury Sedan. There's my Twitch thing. Uh, hit me up, tell me what you think about the video. Tell me I suck, whatever you wanna do. Um, now, how do you change scenes in OBS without a stream deck? For free, how do we do it? If you use Streamlabs OBS, that's cool. I'm gonna get to that right after we do uh, OBS Studio. All right, you're gonna wanna open up OBS Studio, of course. Uh, here we have OBS Studio Inception, that's nice. Top left, File, Settings. Your box is gonna come up and you'll see a lot of different things. You're gonna wanna go to Hotkeys. So essentially what we're doing here is we're gonna take a key on your keyboard that you're not really using, like maybe the F keys, F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Take one of those and we're gonna use it as your uh, your hotkey to change scenes. The only thing is, you know, with the Stream Deck, you've got some pictures or text that tells you where you're going, helps you remember. You're gonna have to remember all these in your head, but hey, it's free and you know, don't make it too complicated on yourself and uh, you can do some pretty easy stuff uh, just from the push of a button. So jumping back into the hotkeys menu, this is what you'd see when you first open it. There's um, one list right here, right at the beginning, that's a little bit different than everything else on the page. What you wanna start off, first of all, maybe with is your start streaming key and your stop streaming key. So I've made those my F5 and my F6 keys. Uh, all you have to do, you know, say this one wasn't programmed in, I'm gonna click in the box. I want it to be F6, so I'm gonna hit that button. There it is. That's all you've gotta do. So now my start and stop is programmed to F6. As you can see, if I wanna record a clip, start is F7, stop is F8, easy enough. If you're running studio mode in OBS Studio where you have you know, the scene you're going to right next to the scene you're currently on and you wanna fire the next scene, they even have a spot where you can put in that transition key that you normally have to click. I've made that the end key. But then once, you know, you can look at all this stuff um, these are the things I found most useful and most beneficial for me. Your, your mileage may vary. As you scroll down though, that's where you really get into the meat and potatoes. Um, you can save replays right here. But down here you see uh, this is bolded. That is a name of one of my scenes. It's a, it's a great name, BRB2, uh, because I have two BRB screens for some reason. Now let's skip that one, but um, a scene I actually use, bumper video. When I wanna fire that scene, um, I've set that to number pad one, you know, the num keys number one. So whenever I hit that, it's gonna fire it straight over. Unless you're in studio mode, you have to hit the transition button. But if I wanted to go to my desktop capture, I've got that set to numpad two. You see right here, it says switch to scene, and then you put in the key, whatever you want that to be. Make it stuff that's easy to remember. Maybe your show has a normal flow of how things go. It's very predictable. You know, maybe you have an intro screen and then you have your face cam and your game screen. Maybe you go back and forth between those two, kind of like I do during my show. You know, you could set those to a four and a five. It's easier to remember. It's right in the middle of the numpad. And then probably at the end of your show, you've got some kind of uh, stream ending soon screen. Maybe you put that on six. So don't make it super complicated, super hard on yourself to remember those keys and what they do whenever you press them. You don't have those, uh, you know, those animated icons for a stream deck or or a text overlaying a little LCD button. Make it easy on yourself, make it simple, make it follow the flow of your show. Um, that's what I did and it worked out pretty well for me. You just gotta make sure that it's not a key you use all the time. So if, you, if you're one of those people that doesn't use the number pad all the time, this is perfect for you. All right, all my Streamlabs OBS truthers out there, this one's for you. Bottom left, settings. Oh, this looks very familiar. Hotkeys on the left hand side. It's gonna open up a menu. Looks pretty much exactly the same. You've got all those things that kind of only apply to uh, start and stopping, transitions, save and replays. All that's right at the top for you, just like it was in OBS Studio. Um, 
I've pretty much got my stuff set up exactly the same actually, because um, I, I used to use Streamlabs OBS. Then you're gonna scroll down, it's gonna get into your screens. It's, this scroll bar is so small, it's so dumb. <laughs> Uh, this is a, a nice scene of mine, Game Transition Halloween. It's not at the top though, your switch to scene button, uh, the setting where you put that in, it's not at the top, it's actually at the bottom of the box. It goes through all of your inputs for that scene or all your sources, I should say. Switch to scene is at the bottom, so if I wanted to make this, you know, the slash on my numpad. There you go, put that in. Here's my stream starting screen. Um, it's not at the top, it's at the bottom. It goes through all my sources. Switch to scene. Let's make it numpad multiply. That's a great one. Easy to remember. When we're done, hit done. That's it. Well, folks, I hope the debut episode of Stream University helped you. If it did, uh, make sure you shout me out whenever you're tweeting Elgato Gaming saying, I don't need your stinking stream deck. Also, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that really helped me out getting this started. Uh, give a like, subscribe, comment, all the above. Awesome. Don't forget to stop by the stream, say hey, and we'll see you next time. Happy Papa!